Boston, the last four times UFC heavyweight champion Stipe Miocic stepped into the octagon, he laid waste to his opponent via knockout within the first round. That's the kind of track record that will earn a 6'4", 246-pound fighter the fearsome designation of baddest man on the planet. Of course, the planet covers a whole lot of ground beyond Miocic's native Cleveland, and from halfway around the globe in the Central African nation of Cameroon hails a man who some were saying was even better. Francis Ngannou is 6'5", 263 pounds, all of it sculpted from granite. He too had devoured his four most recent foes in less than a round. When this fighter connects just right, an eerie uo emanates from astonished onlookers. On Saturday night, when Miyasek and Ngannou collided in the main event of UFC 220, no one at TD Garden was expecting to see a second round. But they did. They saw a third, a fourth, and a fifth. Two. They did not experience Ngannou induced uo exclamation. It was the 35-year-old's third successful title defense, which is more than any previous UFC heavyweight champ can boast. Thus he can lay claim to the honor of being the baddest man ever. Miyasek, 18-2, avoided the challenger's wild offense early, then took him to the canvas to sap his strength. Nganu, 11-2 was simply incapable of keeping the fight where he needed it to be in order to be successful. It was a masterful performance by the champ, who now must be considered one of the greatest, and arguably the greatest, heavyweights in UFC history. The Battle of Big Boys was one of two championship fights on the 11-bout card, the other being Daniel Cormier's successful and redemptive, defense of the light heavyweight belt with a dominant second-round TKO of Vulcan Esdemer. Round 1, there was a buzz in the building as perhaps the most highly anticipated heavyweight title fight in UFC history got underway. When they touched gloves after the referee's instructions, it was the most cordial they would be for five minutes. Miyasek started with distance-keeping kicks, but Nganu came right after him with wild punches. Miyasek's movement kept nearly all of these from landing, but the champ did have a bruise under his right eye. Miyasek connected with a hard right, and the crowd roared, but Nganu wouldn't move, 